What's going on, Shrew Gang? My name is Camden. I'm having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be doing an update on BlackBerry, ticker symbol BB. We're looking at the wider view of things. I'll bring it into the intraday viewpoint as well. And then we're going to bring the flow of those calls and puts over while we pay attention to that Ortex data. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. I know the last thing that you would want to see on a day like today is a chart. I, I get it. I know. But uh, we're going to have to run through the technical setup real quick for you. And as of right now, this pullback was insane. It was nasty. And it wasn't just BlackBerry. It was market wide. It was disgusting. You had the NASDAQ, I believe, down almost 3% at its low point. Maybe that is down 3% now, right? I'm not going to check it. But uh, as of right now, with this pullback happening in the market, it's market wide. Now that we got that done with, BlackBerry's actually been treated very nice on a day like today, right? You have AMC down over 10%. I'm pretty sure GME got over 13% in that red activity at some point. You also have some other big companies like CrowdStrike down 5% today, while also on the past couple of days, they've seen down like 20%. I mean, it's a lot of red in the market. And of course, the last thing that you would want to think is to buy into a market like today, but realize the amount of value that has been established during all of these pullbacks. Uh, for BlackBerry, it's just seen as a high or low, so it's really not anything drastic. The only drastic case scenario that could be uh, in the retail investors' minds is, is the fact that it's taking too much time. They're on the edge of their seats. They just uh, need to find something. They need to find something in the market, but good luck. I mean, anybody else that has not played BlackBerry and just played any other stocks, right? It's not like you've made a crap ton of money unless you're playing the VIX, unless you have hedges in your portfolio, and that's it. I mean, market-wide, there's a assets in every single industry getting clobbered in this rundown. So uh, BlackBerry has been treated well, not going to lie, knock on wood though. <laughs> it's been treated well compared to some of the red that we had today. Now, does that mean we're going to fly and see green from now? Oh, no, it's not the case at all. In fact, we may see more red, a little bit of a pullback lower. Um, I'm a buyer on these dips. I know a lot of people that are also a buyer on these dips. We're trying to squabble up as much as we can down here at these cheaper prices uh, because the last thing that I want to do is look at BlackBerry after all of this red a year from now, maybe two years from now, and just see the higher prices that could have come to fruition. The last thing that I want to do is to get out of my convicted play again, like I have in the history and miss out on money again, like I have in the history. I mean, you guys can do whatever you got to do because this is never financial advice, but holy moly, the amount of things that I sold today, not only with the buy ends down at these lower prices, it blew my mind. It really did. Let's bring you into the five minute candles and you can see the volume spike that happened out here. You can see the volume spike that happened down here at these lower points. Of course, there was a little bit of selling that happened right before market closed. You can see how oversold you were, but if I can bring your order flow over today, you had a lot more buying than selling. Your inflow was over 10 million while your outflow was around 9.5. So it's amazing. It's a beautiful thing. These dips are being bought, but it doesn't mean that this is the dip of the dip, right? You could always get more red as we can obviously see, especially if there's a macroscopic rundown in our economy. I mean, no stock is going to see green in that setup. So realize it's not just BlackBerry. The dips are being bought. And of course you may have to go through more pain, but it just depends on what you do when you're facing this pain that really differentiates yourself from other traders. And, and that's just the truth. It really is. I've had around three or four learning experiences in the market. And as of recently, this is going to be my fourth or fifth, right? Retailers are getting thrown around like rag dolls, man. I thought this time would be different and it's not the case. So we're just going to have to get through it. Every time that this has happened in the past, uh, in correlation to the 2020 correction as well, I was in some amazing investments after that crash. I was, man. I was in stuff that was at $12. That is now over a hundred. To give you a couple examples, we have Gush. That's more or less related to energy and oil, but we also have Live Nation. Oh, I missed out on that. We had Microsoft. I missed out on that. DraftKings. I missed out on that. There were a ton of stocks that I bought into after the 2020 correction and also averaged into after the 2020 correction that I had to sell out because I was shaken out of the float. I, got, I had a lot of fear tied into me because I was kind of a new investor around the time, but it's not going to happen to me this time. It's not. Understand that you guys got to do what you got to do. If it's too much emotional pain and you just don't have enough money to put any food on your table, it really shouldn't have gotten that bad in the first place. You should only invest with money that you are able to lose, but just don't feel pressured, right? The market's the market. The market will 
always be here. Um, this is a huge, huge time of value, uh, but this value could be dragged lower with selling pressure. And that's just the case. There's a ton of stocks that still have more room to fall, while there's also another side of the story where there's a ton of stocks that are already hitting bottom, ready to go. Of course, we won't see this stuff until it plays out. So it doesn't make sense today, it might make sense tomorrow. It might make sense in about a week or so. When it comes down to BlackBerry's Max Payne, you can see this is still $9, like nothing really has changed other than the fact that our price is now at 880. We talked about this yesterday. Either we get a beautiful push and a pullback on Friday, or we get a terrible rundown and a pull up on Friday. Just something to really have us move down or up so we're not flat for the rest of the week. It would have been crappy if we just had flat action all week to close near nine. We got a little bit of moves and unfortunately it wasn't the bearish side of things. So with this being the case, we're looking for a little bit more strength towards Friday. We could still face a little bit more pain tomorrow, but towards Friday to close near nine. When it comes down to BlackBerry's short interest data today, you can see the amount of borrowing that we had yesterday showed that bears made some money today. Ooh, they ate today. They really did. However, you can see this continuing to increase. There's a lot more borrowing against BlackBerry today down here at these low points. Uh, to continuously make money off the price falling or also at the same time to add selling pressure into the float to continue to halt momentum and combat that buying pressure. Think about it. There's natural selling in the market. Uh, there's short selling in the market and we have to combat that as long buyers uh, just by buying the stock, right? We have to be able to buy the dips. So far that is happening, but the amount of selling pressure that is in the market, it really has started to release, but hasn't been fully released yet. This is why I'm a little bit weary on telling you guys that we have more room to fall. So uh, at the end of the day though, with you being around 6.2% short interest, this is still a low short interest stock. Uh, a lot of the short selling that has been happening in the history of BlackBerry's float isn't really there nowadays. And at the end of the day, with this hard rundown in price action, you would think short sellers would be on it like white on rice and they're not, man. Uh, they hopped on it yesterday. So you can tell they made a little bit of money, but with our shares on loan being around 30 million, you can see that this is dropping as our short interest is rising. Talk about naked short selling. I really don't think that's the case, but either that is the case or the reported data that Ortex is receiving is baloney schmoney. It's been like this forever or for a very long time. More estimated short interest, more exchange reported short interest than you have shares on loan. It shouldn't be the case. It's not right. So either the data is messed up or that's truly what's happening. And that's the reason why a lot of the stocks in the market are getting clobbered because the aggressive short selling that's happening in the market has not been let go yet. And it's still as aggressive. So at the end of the day, we're going to go ahead and bring our short interest over, which is going to be this number right here on our chart in a line graph. We're going to zoom over to our recent technical setup. And you can see you took a pretty massive rundown in this short interest. Short sellers didn't have too good of a time, but if they stayed true up there, or if they just stayed strong up there, they would have made some money. Too bad. These short sellers aren't as smart as you think they are. They really aren't. Uh, if they're going to continue to hit it down here at these low points, so be it. We can get the pullback for it. But if these dips are bought, they better be scared and they better be taking those profits or what's profit now for them might not be profit for long. However, though, if you can like, share, subscribe, hit that bell as well. It'll help me out more than you can even imagine. It might help you as well too, dog. Get some more faces in the channels, the streams, the videos on a day-to-day -day basis to see the massive growth potential that BlackBerry has at such a cheap price. Shree gang, I'll catch up boy as well, and I want to see you guys tomorrow, so stay safe out there. Peace out. Uh... Shree gang.